Welcome! Tips for participating in webinars. What you need. You will need a computer, a headset with a noise-canceling microphone, an internet connection, and a quiet space free of distractions. It's okay if you don't have a headset as long as your computer has a built-in microphone and speakers. Is this your first webinar? Well, be prepared to embrace feeling awkward. Some of our social norms are a little bit different in the virtual environment. First of all, you're expected to use the chat window. And let me type, here I am. The chat window is used for you to ask the presenter questions, to extend on something he or she is saying, to provide links and resources, and you're expected to chat, so go ahead and do it. Before you speak, you may want to make sure that the group can hear you, and so you can click on the microphone icon that's in the lower left-hand corner, and when you do, it turns yellow, and then just ask everybody to click the green check mark if they can hear you, and then go ahead and speak. Equally important, remember to turn off the mic by clicking it again, and it defaults back to a gray color. Keep in mind that there is some lag time between the time when the presenter asks you a question and the time that you can respond, and that's normal. Occasionally, you may find that by mistake you're talking over others. It's okay. We understand. And if you're in a public place and participating in a webinar, you might want to let your colleagues know what you're doing because it may appear as if you're talking to yourself or to them. In Illuminate, we can use emoticons to indicate how we are responding to a presenter or in a meeting. And so let's look at what those look like. When you're in a session, you'll see these indicators. And so you can click on the hand to indicate you're raising your hand. You can clap to agree, give a smiley face. The presenter may ask you to give a green check mark or a red X. All those things are emoticons. You'll also see that there's an away icon. And that's what you would use to indicate that you've stepped away from your computer. And that's just good behavior. So go ahead and click away when you need to step away. Everybody needs help sometimes, and eventually you probably will too. So let me add the uh, Illuminate support link to the chat window, and if you go ahead and click on that link, it will take you to the support page. You may have to allow an applet to load, and then you should see a blue button that says self-help support portal over on the right-hand side. Go ahead and click on it, and it takes you to a page where you can either initiate a live chat with a real person or you can type in keywords and uh, search the knowledge base. And this is a great resource available to you 24-7, so please use it. Congratulations, you made it to the end of this little tutorial. And keep in mind that each one you do becomes easier. So I would like to now give you a handout. It's a PDF and it just goes over some of the tips and reminders and support information that you need to know. So if you want, you can download that and print it out. Thank you very much. This tutorial is courtesy of ITS Teaching and Learning Interactive. We welcome your feedback. If uh, you want to use this or if you want to rip it apart and rebuild it another way, go for it. Have a great time online. Thanks.